And uh, we often wonder when we admire the work of great artists and great people, uh, how you got started, what the beginnings were. And especially that in your case, I understand that uh, you uh, for a while thought about going into the priesthood and even enter the seminary mm -hmm. in 1956, uh -huh. but somehow went to NYU and did film instead. That's, yes. that's a long haul. No, it was, <laughs> yes, yes. I, I think um, for me, uh, uh, <laughs> I guess I could be oversimplifying it, but I think um, when I was three years old, I uh, contracted asthma. And um, I've been asthmatic all my life, and uh, my parents um, uh, weren't allowed to, I wasn't allowed to do any sports or, or anything like that, so they really didn't know what to do with me, so they brought me to the movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, I then began going to Catholic school um, in, a, in the old Italian-American neighborhood in uh, downtown New York, downtown Manhattan which was very insulated and very much my area was Sicilian, all Sicilians. On the next block was all the people from Naples. Mm. And then they were Calabrese. <laughs> there was another block. But um, uh, the teachers at the Catholic school were Irish nuns. <laughs> ah, well. So eventually um, I became um, uh, eventually what, what happened that the neighborhood was such a place that that um, uh, one had to use uh, if you weren't strong enough physically you had to use your wits to survive and so I began to understand that uh, um, a lot of uh, what I saw that was good in that area was not only coming from uh, the, the connection of the the, 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 uh, uh, the sense of uh, family of blood but also from uh, two young priests um, who were there, who were maybe 22 years old, 23 years old, Italian-American priests who were very interesting and told us and looked at myself and my friends and said, you don't have to live like this. You could, you could use your head, get an education and move out. And, and I used the, this one priest as a, uh, as a uh, mentor in a way. Um, but uh, quickly, by the time I was 15 or 16 years old in the seminary, I realized that one has to have more uh, of, a, of a, a will um, to uh, have a vocation to give yourself to other people as a, as a, as a priest would and should. And so I was expelled from the uh, <laughs> seminary, went to a Catholic school, and eventually wound up at uh, uh, New York University. And the passion that I, I had for uh, what I thought was uh, a passion for religion uh, it sort of transferred over a passion for cinema. Um, because cinema was uh, not only the American cinema, but British and Italian cinema. And then by the late 50s, um, international cinema, particularly Sajit Ray and films from Japan. And so I began to learn about the outside world through cinema. You see, mm -hmm. if I was interested in Sajit Ray, I'd go, I found the Ravi Shankar album, the first one in America. Um, and... Um, it was interesting because where I lived was a tenement. So, especially in the summer, all the doors were open and uh, people would hear each other's problems and uh, this sort of thing, arguments. You go and settle the neighbor's argument and you come back into your house and argue with your wife. And, you know, <laughs> all of this going on. In the meantime, people are playing jazz, people are playing opera, people are playing rock and roll. You can hear it through the windows and I'm playing the Ravi Shankar. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this became, became a change. Um, and eventually, uh, I met a teacher. Uh, at New York University named Haig Manujian, who's Armenian-American, who had a very passionate man and who was a very, very tough teacher. And uh, he inspired me, like that priest did. And so inspired me to, uh, uh, to have the, uh, the energy and the, the determination to put what I thought I wanted to say on film and to use film. And don't forget, this is 1962. 63. At that point, there was the British New Wave, the French New Wave, the Italian New Wave of cinema coming from uh, Western Europe. And of course, the great Russian films, too. So this was a very exciting time. But Haig uh, you know, I, I believe you dedicated one of your films to Yes, him, Raging uh, Bull. Yes, he had just passed away. He never saw that film. So. Uh, I, 